All right. Second Timothy chapter 2, verse 20 to 21. I'm dealing with a topic entitled Vessel of Honor. I want you to listen to this very carefully. But in a great house, there are a lot, uh, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also of wood and clay, some for honor and some for dishonor. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, in other words, cleanses himself from being somebody of dishonor, he will be a vessel of honor, sanctified and useful for the master, prepared for every good work. So I want you to see that every single one of us have got something we need to work on. Something we need to allow the Holy Spirit to work in us and through us to bring us to a place where God can really use us. And remember that the, the level that God can trust us is the level that He uses us. All right. So the more we allow God to work in our life, the more He can trust us with more godly things to flow through our lives. And so saints, I want to encourage you this morning and say, listen, it is not up to God whether you are a vessel of honor or dishonor. The Bible is very clear. It is up to us. You decide whether you are ready for the master's hands and use or not. I want us to go to verse 21. This is the key. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from the latter, the dishonor category. And so I want to encourage us today and say, God, come to us. Holy Spirit, come and work in us. Help us to cleanse us. You see, it's up to us to say, God, help us cleanse this thing. Let's get us to a place of honor. Let's get us to the place where God can use us and God can genuinely be glorified in everything that we do. And so saints, as we come around the table today, I want us to make that decision. I want you to make that decision and say, God, I want to be a vessel of honor. But Lord, I make that decision to cleanse myself. How do I cleanse myself? The Bible says you are cleansed with the washing of the word. You are cleansed by taking the word and applying it in your life. Taking the principles and just practicing it. Immediately it's going to start cleansing you. But this morning we must make that decision. We must say, God, I want to be a vessel of honor. Lord, help me to cleanse out all the rubbish, all the dross, anything that's not of you. I thank you, Lord, that I am cleansed and that I'm ready to be used in Jesus' name. And so let's pray together. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. And he said that this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The cup, the blood of Jesus was shed for our salvation, provision, and protection. And so today as we come, let us come and submit to God and say, God, we want to be a vessel of honor. Holy Spirit, come and cleanse us. Holy Spirit, come and work on us. I want to tell you that you're not going to just do it by yourself. But it starts by a decision. Number one is a decision. Number two is to allow God to help you do it. Help Allow God to work in your life and to bring you to the place that he has for you. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you right now that as we come around your table on this wonderful Sunday morning, Lord, I pray right now that we will come and submit ourselves to you. Holy Spirit, I thank you that you are in control of our lives. Lord, we ask you please to forgive us of any sin, of any wrongdoing, any word, any negative thing that we've spoken or said or done. And Lord, we ask you please to forgive us in Jesus' name. And to cleanse us white as snow in Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray right now that as we come around this table, Lord, we will present ourselves a living sacrifice. Lord, we will come and say, God, we want to be a vessel of honor. Lord, we thank you for sending the Holy Spirit into our lives. And this morning as we take communion, we say, Holy Spirit, come and work in our lives. Come and minister to us. Come and bring us to the place of wholeness. And Lord, I thank you that we are going to be a vessel of honor in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together.
Lord, we thank you right now for your dunamis power that's flowing in our lives. Lord, we ask you right now in the name of Jesus to release that power into our lives. Lord, I thank you that your word says that the spirit of God that dwelleth in us quicken our mortal bodies. We thank you, Lord, that our mortal bodies, our physical bodies are quickened in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come against and we bind every form of sickness and command it to submit to the name of Jesus and to come out of our bodies and to leave us. We declare health. We declare total prosperity over our lives in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, I want to just... Uh, Celebrate with us today and say, listen, it's a wonderful Sunday. We are trusting God for great things. We are believing God for supernatural miracles over our families, in our lives. And Lord, we just, and we just pray to the Lord that the Lord will help us with our everyday chores. If you're at work, we trust in God for supernatural intervention. If you're at school, we trust in God for supernatural retention. And we are trusting God wherever we are that God is going to move by His Spirit in our lives and that He's going to fulfill that that He has promised us in Jesus' name. I just want to remind you that before we pray right now that at 10 o'clock this morning we are running our Afrikaans service and you're welcome to join. Remember that our, our kids' church is running both English and Afrikaans at 10 o'clock on Father's Heart Kids. And then 6 o'clock tonight, I'm going to be ministering in English at the 6 p.m. service. And also, uh, Father's Heart Kids will be on. Okay, so please just join uh, those feeds and so that you could get into the Word today. And so I just want to just say we are so excited that God is busy just raising up the children. You must see the incredible testimonies that we're getting of how people... Uh, people's children are suddenly catching the word, growing in God, and just getting the memory verses, getting the word in their spirits. The Bible says, train up a child in the way of the Lord, and he will not depart from it. And so this morning, I just want to pray for the families today. And this morning, I just want to pray slightly different. And we're going to pray over the families. We're going to pray God's blessing over the units, the family unit. And then we're going to get into praying for the businesses. Lord, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for every single family. Lord, I pray for your anointing to rest on every household. Father, I thank you for your blessing. I thank you for your anointing to rest on them. Lord, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you will move by your spirit. Lord, we thank you that you are in control. And Lord, I thank you that we can release the blessing of God over the family units. And we bind everything that Satan has planned over our families. We put a bloodline around our families and we thank you, Lord, for the blessing of God and the plan and the purpose of God for each individual in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for every school-going child and varsity student, everybody who's busy with exams. Lord, I pray right now for a supernatural retention that they will remember everything that they have studied and, Lord, a supernatural insight that they will understand the work that they are studying. Lord, I pray your blessing on each and every individual today in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray over South Africa. We release your blessing over our nation. We thank you, Lord, that you are moving by your spirit and that supernaturally this nation will be blessed. This nation will be the breadbasket of Africa and South Africa, you will stand up and do what God has called you to do. Lord, I thank you for every believer. I pray for those that are resting over this weekend that they will have a really godly rest. Lord, I pray that they will be rested and ready for Monday. But God, I pray that as we go on Monday, we're going to go with might, power, and the Spirit of God in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you right now that as we go, we are going to see the power of God move mightily in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you for the economy. Lord, I pray over every single sector of the economy. Lord, I thank you that as we go and we raise up the altars and we restrict the demonic, Lord, we thank you that every company is blessed where Christians are in. Lord, that the companies are seeing financial turnarounds, supernatural blessings and deals come to them. Lord, we release the power of God over the companies because of the Christians. And Lord, I thank you right now 
that as the Christians apply the principles, Lord, we are going to see the fruit of your word in Jesus' name in every single area. We pray over the hospitality industry. Lord, I thank you that the hospitality industry will be blessed and supernaturally, God, you're going to make a way in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, folks, let's get into our declaration this morning. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have increased assets. I have great victories. I have recognition. I have prominence. I have petitions granted. I have policies and rules changed. And battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. 